Uh, hello, everyone. Glad you are here. It is an honor to have you here and welcome home to St. Peter's. And uh, very excited to have you in the midst as we close the day and offer the evening even tied offices, read the hours. Please do, if you'd be so kind as to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us the thumbs up. And of course, if you are so minded and able, give us a follow on Facebook. We are happy to have you here. I will point you to uh, Sunday's sermon. Our own lay preacher, Christina Maffa Johnson, did a great job. We also had a lovely baptism at the later service. Uh, welcome, Marina, to the body of Christ and to this journey we share as the people of St. Peter's. I also want to give a huge shout out of prayer of thanksgiving to our Lunch Bunch crew, Community of Hope Ministries, which is our local charity that St. Peter's runs as a group of youth who have conceived planned and now lead this feeding ministry that meets once a month and they put together bagged meals for those who are hungry. They did 106 lunches that they bagged up on Sunday. This is a huge top line um, effort on their part. Very happy and very proud for them as they're uh, gathering more kids and doing more in terms of caring for those who are food distressed. So very happy to uh, to lead with that today. Please do, as I said before, like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Just give us that thumbs up. Give us your prayer intentions and thanksgivings. We're happy to pray with you and for you. Now we are ready to close the day with evening prayer. Here we go. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, be not far from us. Come quickly to help us, O God. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O Lord, I call to you quickly. I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. My eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Psalms 9 and 15 will read responsively by full verse. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turned back, they stumbled and perished before you. For you have maintained my just cause. You have sat on the throne giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemies have vanished in everlasting ruins. Their cities you have rooted out. The very memory of them has perished. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. The Lord has established her throne for judgment. He judges the world with righteousness. She judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare her deeds among the peoples. For she who avenges blood is mindful of them. She does not forget the cry of the afflicted. 
Be gracious to me, O Lord. See what I suffer from those who hate me. You are the one who lifts me up from the gates of death. So that I may recount all your praises and in the gates of daughter Zion, rejoice in your deliverance. The nations have sunk in the pit that they made, in the net that they hid as their own foot has been caught. The Lord has made herself known. She has executed judgment. The wicked are snared in the work of their own hands. The wicked shall depart to Sheol, all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Rise up, O Lord. Do not let mortals prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that they are only human. O Lord, who may abide in your tent? Who may dwell on your holy hill? Those who walk blamelessly and do what is right and speak the truth from their heart. Who do not slander with their tongue and do no evil to their friends, nor take up a reproach against their neighbors. In whose eyes the wicked are despised, but who honor those who fear the Lord. Who stand by their oath even to their hurt, who do not lend money at interest. And do not take a bribe against the innocent, and those who do these things shall never be moved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. And why are we putting ourselves in danger every hour? I die every day. That is as certain brothers and sisters as my boasting of you, a boast I make in, the, in Christ Jesus our Lord. If with merely human hopes I fought with wild animals at Ephesus, what would I have gained by it? If the dead are not raised, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Come to a sober and right mind and sin no more, for some people have no knowledge of God. I say this to your shame. But someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? Fool, what you sow does not come to life unless it dies. And as for what you sow, you do not sow the body that is to be, but a bare seed, perhaps of wheat or of some grain. But God gives it a body as she has chosen, and to each kind of seed its own body. Not all flesh is alike, but there is one flesh for humans, another for animals, another for birds, and another for fish. They are both heavenly bodies and earthly bodies. But the glory of, a, of the heavenly is one thing, and that of the earthly is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. Indeed, star differs from star in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. A reading from Luke. When the days drew near for him to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On their way, they entered a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him, but they did not receive him because his face was set towards Jerusalem. When his disciples James and John saw it, they said, Lord, you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them. 
Then they went to, on to another village. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. To another, he said, follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, let the dead bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear our cry, O God, and listen to our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Or the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your mercy, that your church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, we ask for continued mercy and grace and healing for all those whose lives have been upended and disappeared because of the hurricanes and the flooding. Lord, there are people who have lost everything that they own, whose lives have been endangered. Lord, we ask that you not let their hope perish, that you let other people come in and help them, and that you give them the strength and the grace and the goodness that they need 
to continue and to rebuild their lives. Amen. Amen. Gracious God, watch over us all as we care for those in need in our communities and particularly be present with those who are working to assuage anxiety, depression, pain, and fear, no matter what form or shape it takes. And as people strive to be better neighbors to each other, help them to be faithful to a vision of peace and reconciliation in our communities. Let's join together in the night prayer. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. We join together for the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for evening prayer. We appreciate your presence as we close the day. Please do like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Give us the thumbs up and, of course, give us a follow on Facebook. We will reconvene here virtually for morning prayer tomorrow at 9 a.m. But we bid you peace and grace this eventide and as the heat relents for a moment or two before it returns tomorrow in the Northeast, we pray that you are comfortable where you are. It was all, it was 83 degrees a day, Jacqueline. So, 42 when I left my house this morning. It's amazing. What an amazing world we live in. All right. Take care and God bless folks. Bye-bye.